welcome to Sailing with the Jameses. We're the James family. And we live on board our boat, Shining Light, full time. We're currently on the east coast of Australia with plans to sail around the world. This week, we are sailing for the first time on our aluminium boat. And we get the screecher out only to discover there's something wrong with it. Good so we're here at Dinabella Bay, which is uh, on the northern end of North Stradbroke Island. And we're going to go across to Scott's Beach over the side there and check out the town of Dunwich. We've uh, heard that there's a bakery, like a Chinese shop and a few other things and hopefully a playground. So we're going to go hopefully find a few things and check it all out. Yeah, nice little morning adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs> So we're headed to right here where there's a dirt path. There's a huge beach all along here. So we've just been looking as to where's the best place to leave the dinghy. And this one looks as though it's got pass in it. So that's where we're gonna go check out. The beach here is quite flat and the tide goes out a long way. So we arrived about an hour before high tide and left about two hours after high tide, which gave us just enough clearance to get the tender out. The town centre of Dunwich was about a five minute walk from where we left the tender. It's a small town with lots to offer. There's a library, a pub, bowls club, a few cafes, an op shop and small eateries. We had a cup of coffee at the Barn Cafe and checked out the op shop before heading back to the beach. Charlie's found one of these egg sacks. They're um like clear little, can I see it? Show people? These clear little circle things and you can see inside of it, it's got like uh, little dots and everything. I just peeled off a part. This is um, like the egg sack of a um, shell type thing. I forget what kind. Yeah, they're like this sort of really firm jello-y type thing you find on the beach and inside it's just all the eggs. It's pretty cool. The last time we were on South Stradbrook they were like littered everywhere and don't see that many here on North Stradbrook but this one was pretty huge. It was a good find Charlie girl. Charlie's making friends with the pelican. We were down there by the tender and the pelican was in the water next to us and now we've just walked this way and he's been Stalking us. You're making friends. You're making friends with the pelican. After Sam saw the prices at the grocery store in Dunwich, we hauled the anchor and headed over to Cleveland. We dropped the anchor in the bay and took the tender into Cleveland to do some provisioning. We left the tender at the public wharf, and the grocery store was less than a five minutes walk. After reprovisioning, we headed off up into Morton Bay to an anchorage at a spot called the Big Sand Hills. All right, so today is our first sail on Shining Light. So we've been going through the Narrows, motoring the whole way. And um, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to not having the engines on. So we're gonna leave, we're at the Sand Hills here on Morton Island and we're only gonna go seven miles up to Tangaluma and uh, park up there somewhere. So pop the heady and uh, float on up with the tide. Should be good, the wind's about 15 to 20 knots, so we should scoot up there nicely. Hello. This is our first time doing it besides the test sail a while back, see how it goes. So the head sail's gonna be going out onto the port side. We're just gonna loosen up the sheet, loosen up the jammer, make sure that the lazy sheet is out and ready to go. This is the furling line here, so we take the jammer off that. And we'll just have it all sprayed out on the deck just so it goes out freely as we are. Uh, yeah. And then this is the working sheet, this one over here.
It's stiff? Yeah. Let me go see you. Ah, uh, stiff there. The lazy sheet and the furling line were a bit stiff, giving a bit of resistance and making it difficult to get the headsail out. Just a little slack made it easy, and it's nothing a little TLC can't fix. So the wind's about seven knots, six knots, and we're floating along at 3.1 knots. Not too bad. So today is a perfect day to get the screecher out. Now we keep our screecher in this forward locker. You can see it all the way up to the top of the hatch there. And um, we just want to call to keep it out of the weather. It reduces windage um, forward of where our anchor bridle is to stop us swinging so much. Um, and I went to go and click the top on it. And uh, this here is not clicking closed. So it won't actually be locking the head of the screecher in place um, so we won't be able to put it up today I'll have to fix it there is a small bit of wire in there and what happens is that wire clicks into this groove here and that's what locks the pin across and then when you want to release it you've got a thing here you lift it up and it comes out but it's not locking it at all so um, yeah another little boat job to fix up for the day so I've just said, why don't we just buy a new piece? Um, the piece that's broken. And I just said to Sam, why don't we buy a new piece? And he's just told me the price and there's no way we're buying a new piece. Sam's fixing it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it work. Worst yeah. case scenario, we figure there's a bit of a recess bit there. We can put a bit of string there and just hold the pin across. Um, the strength comes from the cross bearing here so it won't matter if we uh, do something like that so that might be the trick otherwise I'm gonna I'm just gonna try and just get a little bit of sandpaper in on the edge there or even a file and just file it back just slightly to see if that will help with it grabbing so basically what happens with the screecher it's in here it's curled up like a noodle like a spaghetti noodle and it looks like this one here it's just not on a hard piece we attach the top the head piece that's broken to the top of the sail and then hoist it up so the yellow rope is the rope for the screecher we hoist it up and then it's onto the prodder as well so top to bottom and it can live outside as well it can stay up yeah we haven't been sailing so we haven't taken it out to keep it out of the sun so i've got my trusty leatherman out the wrong tool for every job and uh, I'm just going to try and file the edge a little bit just to see if that makes a difference. Just to give her a slight file. Oh, it's almost it, see? It's almost closed there. That's it locked. Hey, we've done it. All right, that seems to have done it. Just a quick little sand with the Leatherman. So it turns out it's the right tool for this job. Oh, it was perfect. I'm stoked. So yeah, it saves us getting a new one, which is uh, very exciting. Yeah, so she's closing all the way now. Perfect. And hopefully she'll lock it up there. We were just trying to figure out which one was the head and which one was the foot. So which of the end pieces goes up on top. And, and we just figured out that the North Sales sign should face upwards reading position. So um, we figured it out. So the screecher is up, you can see it up here, 
And then the yellow line is the furling line that goes through the hole in the child knitting over there and is attached to the rail. And these are the sheets that we'll put into place. And basically to hold the screecher down, you've got the blue rope on the bottom that's pulling it down that's tied to the cleat there. And it's on the cow prodder. The prodder? The prodder. <laughs> There's no cows out here. <laughs> so the sheet is this blue line. It runs back here on the outside of the stays. It comes back through here, through the block, through the jammer, and onto the winch. And Sam's just untying the furling line, and we'll get the screecher out. All right, so the screecher's out. So we've got the screecher out and the head sail out, and you can see that the wind is obviously coming from this direction over here. But our our wind instrument is saying the wind is coming from over here at eight knots. So we think that this works for eight knots, but definitely, definitely not the wind direction because we've got the sails full out that way. After mucking around with the broken part, we only had enough time to put the screecher out to have a look at it before we had to put it back in as we were fastly approaching our destination. Beautiful! That went away nicely! Really nicely, well done! Perfect tension too! No worries! Okay, so we're about to put the head sail away and then we're coming up to Tangaluma now so we're just going to turn the engines on and idle down and anchor. The head sail was good to put away up until the last bit, which gave us a bit of resistance and the sheet needed some help through the blocks. The sheets are just a bit stiff. Sam was having a hard time pulling it in. Um, it just the sheet here was just stiff and stuck and you can see that it goes to the blocks, it goes here, it goes up, it goes around and through there. So just a bit of a torturous path and just a bit of like resistance coming from the rope. We anchored inside the wrecks at Tangaluma. We had a really great time here. We explored the wrecks, we played on the beach, and we even found rubbish bins on the beach to deposit our garbage in. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and we'll see you guys next week.